Psalms chapter 27 in your Bible. Psalms chapter 27. Okay, would you open up the word of God? What a psalm, a powerful psalm that encourages us tonight. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I want you to pay attention, please. The Lord is the strength of, 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 of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? It's amazing, little children. Young people, I, it just blows my mind how many suicides it has had. Young people, because they're being bullied in school. Let me try to help you out, young people, tonight. God, if God be for you, who could be against you? Amen. God can take care of the bully. Amen. Okay? God can take care of the bully. It is said that they commit suicide and don't want to go to school and don't want to live because they're being bullied. Can you imagine that? And I'll tell you what, it'll help you more than anything else, young people. You dig in this book, you read this book, and you get in that prayer closet. I guarantee you, God will give you what he gave King David. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen teenager. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. Can you imagine? Did you know two of those young people that said committed suicide recently after that school shooting? Two of them. The survivors. They survived the, the mass shooting and now have taken their life. And I'm telling you, friend. We need to realize we got to get the word of God in these young people's lives. Amen. And young people's a lot of fears. And it is old people that go through it. And there's a lot of fears out there. David went through a lot. I mean, come on, Saul tried to kill him. He went through a lot. He learned to go through a lot. He, he learned that uh, the, the Philistines were coming in. He learned through Goliath. He learned what God can do. Amen. And don't, don't get me wrong, he had his weak points. He has weak point. He said within his heart, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna die. Saul's gonna kill me. But he, he, hey, you go on your knees, you go discouraged, you go in fear, but you get up and you don't fear. Amen. Amen. And that's why I want you to meditate in the Bible. That's why I want you to pray. I don't want you to fear your future. God will bless you. Amen. God will bless you. 
It might be a physical ailment. It, there's a lot. There's a financial. There's a lot that the devil tries to attack us with. Yes, yes. And the Psalms would encourage us. And, and we realize how great God is. Divided the Red Sea. And friend, let's remind ourselves he fed millions of people in the wilderness. God will take care of us. Amen. I know there's bills we have here. There's bills you have at home. There's going to be always bills. But God is bigger. Amen. God is greater. Amen. God's able to give us help. As long as he goes help the work. Help us to pray. Help us to have faith. God can work things out. Amen. And the Bible says right here, and says uh, when the when, when the wicked, uh, even my even my enemies and my foes, um, came upon me to eat up my flesh. Underline this: they came to eat up. I tell people I just wait. I just think about the boxer who who bit the ear off. I, uh, uh, I hate even thinking about it. Let's move on. I like this gross. Just biting his ear. Come on. There's, but there's the people that have fought, bitten, they bite. I, you know, they keep living. I've just been fighting, saying they stop fighting each other. People are wicked. Stephen, well, before he died, he was a martyr for God. Those people were lashed on him with his teeth. People become animals. People are wicked. Beast. Rapes. Savages. Little kids torn apart. Raped, found on the bottom of the river. And the little girl, you see it, you heard about it? They snatched her and just dragged her, snatched her. They, they, they look, well, they're looking for the rascal. He came upon her. Beast. They're out there, kids. But with God's help, with you staying close to God, kids, parents, God's able to help our kids. God's able to help. Let's teach them to trust Jesus, to get close to Jesus. Kids, you're going to need Jesus. You're going to need God. God can protect you. Amen. Give them confidence. Amen. Give them confidence. Give these kids confidence. Amen. They stumble and fail. Underline that. They stumble and they fail. God has a sense of humor, doesn't he? He's going to make them fall. Literally fall. Stumble. I love, I love when we see you know, O'Farrah and his horsemen. You know what I'm talking about. And his chariots got tipped them wheels and they yeah. broke them wheels. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder how many times somebody tried to kill me, somebody tried to kill you, but God slowed their vehicle down. Mm -hmm. My wife was a little kid. She was just young, and they ch chased her, chased her, chased her. She was on a bike, chased her. This little kid chased her, tried to, tried to get her. Mm -hmm. She made it home. The guys tried to get her. Thank God it didn't get you, sweetheart. I would have you. <laughs> Well, how many times stinking wicked beast of men want to rape these precious girls and these precious ladies in our church? Well, how many times the angels of God wouldn't let it happen? Amen. Amen. Our precious wives made a home. Beast of a stinking animal came and beat her down. I'm talking about dragged her, beat her, black eyes, blue. I'm talking about just about killed her. Guy was 18. He wonder who's this stinking serial killer. 18. Stinking monster. Monster. It's hard to believe, little lady. You're going to be 18. Your age. Thank God you're not like that. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, brother Eddie. Amen. Amen. That guy looks so innocent. I'm not talking about Eddie. I'm talking about Eddie. <laughs> You're innocent looking too, but you, 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 we don't believe you that way, okay? You're not, you're, not, you're not a deceiver. This guy's a deceiver. Yes, sir. Make a long story short, after this rascal doing the rampage, just tearing up the town. Tearing up. Even that stinking rascal was bold enough with the husband there come through the window. Thank God the guy had a gun this time. And a detective that was willing to for two weeks wait for that stinking monster to come out. He's getting worried about the last brother, that guy coming through the window. <laughs> He's waiting for him. The rest is history. They started shooting at each other. That old rascal ran through there, broke that glass, got all cut up. They said, well, find him at the hospital so he can help. 
<laughs> that old innocent stinking rat. Them rats know where to go when they get hurt. They want to hurt somebody. Right, right. Long story, they got that stinking rat. Mm -hmm. I said that I'll say that they like to tear people to pieces out there. Mm -hmm. Girls, I'm so glad you know Jesus. Amen. Amen. Boys, I'm so glad you know Jesus. Amen. I'm glad you dear ladies know, no. know Jesus. Amen. I thank God for detectives. I thank God for guns. But nobody can protect you like Jesus. Amen. Right. It's a real Amen. world out there. It's a crazy world out there. Right? Yeah. Yes, sir. May God protect you. You know, my daughter Joy works at a bank. But you know, it's so good to encourage me to Joy and know that God protects you. Amen. God Amen. watches over you at the bank. Amen. Amen. That's encouraging to your husband, no doubt, that God's angels are watching over you. I don't know. This old world is sick and crazy. There's home invasion, carjackings. And there's been so many deaths up on my street all around me. My wife would tell you. Death all over there. But all these years, God's grace has been so gracious to us. People talk about the east side, the east side. There's killings on the west side. Mm -hmm. There's killings on the west side. We got beautiful people here in East Knoxville. We live in East Knoxville. We love East Knoxville. That's where I've been living all these years. Amen. And it's beautiful where you're at, wherever you live. You got God. You got God's blessings. God's protection. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. That's right. It's who you got. Mm -hmm. Not where you at, who you got. Who got watching over you? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I read this Bible, I get so encouraged. I pray, I get so encouraged. I come to church, I get so encouraged. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. David learned that. King David learned that in all his battles. What God's done for him. You know? Mm -hmm. He had his downfalls. Don't get me wrong. He, he, had, he had his problems. He said. Verse 3, though in hosts should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. And this will I be what? Confident. Verse 4, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Put that down, young person. Not I'm 18, I'm out of here. Not I'm 19, I'm out of here. Not I'm going to college. Uh, I don't need to go to the house of God. Thank God for these young people. They're going to make up their mind. Thank God these girls, they're going to make up their mind. Thank God these kids are going to make up their mind. Hey, all the days. Amen. Not some of their days, all the days. Amen. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Why? To behold the beauty of the Lord and to choir in his temple. Amen. What's more beautiful than a basketball game? Amen. What's more beautiful Amen. than a football game? Amen. What's more beautiful than staying home playing your PS4? You may not understand it now, but brother, you're going to understand that one day the beauty of God that'll bless your wife, Amen. that'll bless your husband, Amen. that'll bless your kids, that'll bless you. Look up here. You will understand that one day Amen. when you see God blesses you with peace and you see the joy and the beauty of God Amen. and your children and your wife and your marriage. Let me tell you something. You will understand it one day when you understand his glory and his beauty and he meets with you in church and he speaks to you in church and he brings joy in church. He brings peace in church. You will understand it when homes are crumbling but God blesses you. When God exalts you. When you go to work and you can enjoy your work. You can enjoy your work. You can enjoy your children. You can enjoy your home. Somebody say man. You will understand it one day why it's so more important to stay at home on a Sunday night, on a watching a ball game, on a Wednesday evening. Somebody help me out. Hey, March Madness, you ain't got nothing compared to the King of Kings in the house of God, the Lord of glory. Hey, March Madness, you ain't got nothing. Seeing these kids come off that bus and seeing God will help some of them be virgins, help them be clean. Somebody help me. God will help them get some godly husbands and godly wives. God will get them victory on dope and liquor and wicked. Somebody help me out. God will change their talk and change their walk. Teach them to say yes, sir, and yes, man. Come on, somebody say, man. Get rid of the stinking wicked rap music and the wicked hip hop music and the wicked stinking rock and roll. Somebody help me. Get rid of the stinking radar. Somebody help me. You girls, put your stinking fiddle fountain around. Put the stinking, put, put it down. Put the, forget the fiddle fountain. I want you to know something. 
There's a God that's beautiful, that's wonderful, that wants to help you to be the Christian he wants you to be. Look at me. I'm talking about he wants you to have a happy life. Not a depressed life, not a discouraged life. Look at me, boys. Look up here. You make up your mind, you're going to get the beauty of the Lord. You make up your mind, you're going to get God's beauty. You make up your mind, you're going to see him in his beauty. You're going to see him as king. You're going to come to church and see him and watch him work in the hearts and lives of people. It's beautiful to see the young people praying at the altar. It's beautiful seeing them sitting and wanting to learn the Bible. It's beautiful to see them singing on the bus and the young preacher boys preaching on the bus. Amen. It's beautiful to see the beauty of the young men when the usher work in the sound room and, and somebody help me. It's beautiful to see them want to sing in the choir and want to see the young people sing and yes, sing somebody help me. Amen. 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 It's beautiful to see Christ. You see a little, see a little. When God made him a man, they want to be a man. God made him a woman, they want to be a woman. Amen. Amen. See him. See him in their beauty. Amen. Sunday. To see you come dressed for church. Come Not like you come to dress a stick at nightclub. Come on, man. Right. You dress in the house of God. Yes. And to see you come and take this thing serious. Amen. And to see you driving that van. And to see you driving the bus or picking your car up and bringing somebody to church. Amen. And to see your families come with your children. What a beautiful sight that is. Amen. 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 But the beautiful thing, the most beautiful thing of all is, is Jesus. Yeah. Amen. 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 Is by faith to see you by faith. Amen. To see you know you, you, you didn't see him bodily raised up from the dead, but you believe the Bible. You never seen him heal the blind, but you see him by faith. You never seen him heal the sick, but you see him by faith. I, I, I'm so I'm so ex excited about the beauty of God. To see a tithe and to see again and. And the, and the beauty of it all through the years to see you grab a paintbrush and paint and to see you clean and to see you wax and see you buff and see you cut grass and see you Amen. Amen. come to a prayer meeting at 10.30 on Saturday mornings and see you go out on your bus route and invite people and go out and pick them up on Sunday. To see you on Thursday night knock on people's doors you don't even know, tell them about hell, tell them about heaven, tell them about being saved and to see them saved. Amen. Well, I'll tell you, to see them grow up and go to Bible college and go to a Christian college and get a Christian education, and I'm talking about and then uh, go ahead and graduate and go ahead and get a godly relationship and go ahead and get married and have a godly family. I wish somebody would say amen and say hallelujah all that. Now, I'll tell you something, Fred. I'm going to tell you something, Fred. You may not end up going to a Christian college, but you ought to be a soul owner. You ought to love God. You ought to be faithful working in church, working in, 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 the, in the house of God somewhere. You ought to find you a bus route and not go off somewhere. And don't be a soul winner. Somebody help me out. Right. It's beautiful to see God do that. That's right. See the beautiful life, how God changes lives. It's a beautiful thing when you see that God is making this couple and molding this couple and all of a sudden he becomes the head of the family like God wants him to be. All of a sudden she submits to the husband like God told her and the children obey the parents like God told them. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful person. It changes the walk and changes the talk. I think it's beautiful. I think it's the Lord's work. Yes. And I see Jesus in you. I see Jesus when you play the piano. You don't feel good, Sister Zayn. And you play the piano and you're afflicted. You sing about God. I, I see God in that. I, I see you. I see you. You get up and sing, choir, and specials. And I, I see you coming through the doors. And you had a tough time. You had a rough time. And I, and I see you just about... just. Oh, you, fight, you fought the demons of hell to get here. The devil tried to stop you. And, and, and you're here tonight. And the devil tried to keep you down. 
I see God in that. Amen. Amen. I see God's beauty in it. I see uh, uh, God's beauty is a, uh, a, a ref, ref, uh, rescue mission and, and working and food and, and, and trying to get him the food and, and, and good and night, all, all, all the plates and, and to see a feeding the rescue and, and see, see the tithes and offers God's people and the food. And, you know, it's just the beauty of God. It's the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. And, and to see what the Lord, the, the Lord, the Lord, what a, a princess. And you're a prince. Your prince is to find, find the princess. The prince is to find the prince. Yes, there, there he is, a prince in you. Yes, there is. Amen. Amen. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You see? Wonderful couples, my dream being fulfilled right before, before me to see what God's doing and what God's going to do in your life. You see? And David learned to see the beauty of the Lord, what God has done through these years of 34 years, to see God's blessings on his people. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. And that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to acquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall what? Hide me, hide me in the pavilion in the what? Secret of the tabernacle shall he what? Hide me. He shall hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle. Underline this. Sacrifices of joy. <laughs> Sacrifice of joy. Look at I'm that, please. I will sing. Yeah, I will sing praise of the Lord. This is the house of God. And you don't understand. I, I look at the set. And by the way, it's with joy. When you, when you raise the money. Um, um, <laughs> I said, sweetheart, I said, uh, joy. Oh, we, we, we've named her joy. God help us. Joy. And he just brings so much joy to her brothers and sisters. So much joy to, to mama and to daddy. So much joy. And I'll tell you, we love all of our children. What joy they are to us. We love them. My wife would tell you, we love, we'll die for every one of them. But I'll tell you, God help us to name our joy. Joy. There's so much sacrifice. Joy. Uh, I can't, Laurent, do you understand? I believe you understand. God is something special when he gave joy to you. Amen. Amen. Joy, God did such a special thing. Give a Laurent to you. Amen. Because you both sacrifice. Amen. You sacrifice. They've sacrificed so much. You know that. They've gone out of the way. One day, the ultimate sacrifice. They will leave us and they will go. Sometimes I say, you God, I get all messed up. God, uh, <laughs> I'll get carried away. Hey, you God, uh. I think I still say that. I don't know. But I know one thing. We'll cry. We'll weep. We'll hurt. We will be so glad with joy that God will bless her for her sacrifice. Amen. 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 And, and we get to sacrifice to God when you leave us and go overseas so far. But until then, we're going to treasure every moment we have with you. They have done so much and do so much. I'll publicly say thank you. Amen. So many hours, so much labor. So much behind the scenes. So much. Amen. <laughs> Sacrifices of joy. <clears throat> They're not talking about in the scripture joy part. Mm -hmm. Though she brings joy to so many of us. Her family. Her mom and dad. Her relatives. God in his wisdom. Somehow. That's <coughs> how she remembers more than I do. But there's a reason when she was a baby. Her name is Joy. But we're talking about the sacrifices that you make. Not what Joy makes. I'm talking about the sacrifice you make. Practice a piano. Play the piano. When you're hurting, you're sick. And as a young lady, you could be out whoring around, living a wicked life with liquor and dope. But publicly, we want to say thank you for that. Amen. Amen. I uh, sacrifice as a, as a young man. A young man.
man. They can't have any whore out there. You can settle for any whore. But wait on God for the right one. I serve a God as a young single person. Living a holy Christian life. Tithes and offerings. Your time that you went to school for and counting it. Hours that you spent in the church books. I'm talking about the sacrifice that you make as a, as a, as a pastor's wife. As a pastor's wife. Hours and hours and hours invested in the house of God. Amen. Decorating, cooking, rescuing teenagers, giving her life to these teenage girls. Sold them. Bustler. Could you imagine that? After having 12 kids? And still wants to help the church out with extra things and working in a, nurse, in a, in a, a daycare. After what joy the fifth grandchild. Loves children. Amen. All the decorations she does. Amen. And love you ladies. And will sacrifice. Amen. So many hours behind this thing, Sister Ruth. They don't know all these years. All these years, Sister Ruth. All these years. They don't know in the house of God all these years. All the labor. Amen. Sister Ruth. Amen. Amen. Rescue mission. Amen. 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 That, that, that pantry is, is her kingdom. Leaves his roof kingdom alone. I, I, I had one. I, I had one. This thing. I had one come this morning. I had one come this morning. It, it's a professional. It, it's, a, it's, it's the professional. It is, it, is, it is. You can see him coming. You can see him coming. Now we help people. But you know what I'm talking about. These are freeloaders that will get anything they can to suck everything you can out of you. Right, right. And every time you see them. So I, this is what I did. So they came to me. I said, oh, just whoops over that. Just go see her. <laughs> just, just go talk to her. She's over that. Thank you, Sister Ruth. I got that off my shoulder. <laughs> now, Sister Ruth will help. But once you find out you're freeloading and, 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 and you're, you're just trying to suck everything you got and you don't, you don't want to serve God, <laughs> Sister Ruth's long, wrong, wrong one you're going to try to get over on. Don't get me wrong, Sister Ruth, give me shit off my back. She'll help me. She, she loves people. And we do, Ron. Isn't that right? But, the, but there's so much sacrifice for the bro. I think about all the way to, to Atlanta, how you labor, labor, time after time. And, and do what you can to be a financial blessing to your home and to your church. It's just amazing to me. It's amazing. The hours, the years of sacrifice. If you only knew, and his, his dear wife, such a trace. Oh, I can go on and on and on to people that labor, people work and people that that, that that just give everything everything they can. Amen. 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 And, and, and we invest in your lives in you young people. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. We invest in our lives in you. The teen activities we spend with you. Mm -hmm. We spend so much time trying to invest our lives in you. And it, 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 it's, it's, it's a joy. To, that we can do it for God because when we see God bless your life, it's worth it. Yeah. I love what the Bible says here. I want you to look at it here. I will sing. Let me hear you say it. I will sing. I will sing. You will sing praises unto the Lord. And sing out when you come to the house of God with your children, teenagers. And we, 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 we have you sing. Okay, kids? We have you sing. Sing out for God. We, have, we love singing around here. Congregation, sing out. Sing out for God. God bless you. And, and, and we'll sing. God, we do it for the Lord. God loves to hear us say, okay? Christian stuff. Isn't that right? Amen. Not the worldly stuff. Not the devil stuff. Isn't that right? Amen. We don't do it to press each other like these in the nightclubs and all these in the wicked um, uh, musicians in the world, right? Amen. We get the sound system going the way we want it. We're not doing it for our glory. We're doing it for God. We want to help our singers. They have what they need. We want to have all the supplies they need. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. And, um, 
I want you to see here. Hear, O oh Lord, when I cry, underline this with my voice. Have mercy upon me and what? Answer me. Answer me. When thou says, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, what? Thy face. Thy face will I say. Girls, would you do that this week? Would you seek his face in the Bible? Would you please? How about you boys? How about you men and women? Amen. Boys, everybody ought to dig in this book. Look for him. Every day, look for him. Look for him. A teenage girls borrow the preacher's Bible every night, every night, every night. And the preacher said in a foreign country, they didn't have Bibles, but she wanted to borrow her pastor's Bible. He said, you've been reading so much, but years, I guess. And she finally showed him, guess what she was doing? She was copying every word of the Bible. She copied every word so she could have her own Bible. How about that, girls? Would you look at me, girls? Would you seek Jesus' face like her? How about you, teenage boys? Would you seek his face? Hey, would you look for him from Genesis to Revelation? Would you be like that young girl that cried and she just cried because she didn't know how to read? And she started crying. She wanted to know God. And it said that God sent an angel from heaven. It said, Pastor, do you believe it? I believe it. Tutored her. Came from heaven and tutored her. It said, Pastor, I don't believe stuff like that. I do. I do. She cried. She, uh, she didn't know how to read like you do. Can I ask you girls something? Can I ask you boys something? If she was willing to do that, will you open the Bible and ask God to teach you the Bible? Would you listen to your Sunday school teacher? Would you listen to the preacher? Amen. Amen. In the house of God? Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. We got to close. Yeah. Yeah. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God. Learn when you disappoint God. He's like mama. He's like daddy. But he's better. He'll forgive you. He will. He, he will never forsake you. I know, Mom and Dad. We get, we get heated. We get heated. Mom gets hot. You and kids, you know how to make Mom and Dad hot. But there's a God that He loves you, like Mom and Dad does. He'll never forsake you. Learn to ask Him to forgive you. Amen. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will love. Take you. You see? Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a well. Plain man, because of my enemies. Deliver me not unto a, the will of who? My enemies. My enemies. May God help us. Lord, don't deliver us up the North Korea. Don't deliver us. Don't deliver us to Russia. Amen. Lord, don't deliver us up, please, the United States. I love our country! America cry! America! Thank God! He's mad about this stinking Solomon! of killing these babies. He's mad of all this stinking racist junk going, my God is concerned about the blood. Somebody help me. Oh God, don't destroy this country. Oh God, forsake not America. The red, white, blue. Oh my God, we love our flag. We love our country. My God, we've sent before you withhold our wrath. Oh my God, don't let the enemy come in and take our country. Rocket man. 
Hey kids, did you know they used to have drill practice about the bombs coming in? They had to hide under the desk. You know how you have drills, fire drills? It's when the big bomb would come, they teach the kids to hide because the bombs were coming. You want, you want to know why you don't have any drills like that anymore? We got so much weapon, I don't care how you try to hide in your desk, it won't, it won't save you. It's pointless. They got bombs that just take the skin right off you while you're looking at each other. Skin to peel off. But we must beg God to have mercy upon our country and show God we want to live right and do right. For the sake of my grandbabies and the sake of my children, I'm trying to give what I can to help you. Amen. 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 May God help you to pray. Amen. Amen. Confess our sins before God. Would you please, kids, join in anything filthy on that phone? Would you say no more? Amen. Anything nasty on that uh, on that phone? Would you say no more? Amen. Anything wicked and ungodly and nasty you should be watching on TV? No more. Amen. No more. The secret things you may be doing that mom and dad would be pleased, not pleased with. Please, God. Would you kids? Save America. Amen. Say, say, say you're going to be virgin and clean until you get married. Amen. Would you? Virgin and clean. Come on. Don't be like Amen. the wicked world. Amen. You save your body for your mate. Let's have God the Christian home. Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. We've got to hurry. We've got to hurry. So much here. For false witness are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. Look at verse 13. I have fainted, unless I had what? I had believed to see the what? The goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord in the land of the what? Don't faint. Don't faint. Okay? I want you to underline that. Don't faint. Would you underline that? This is going to help you. I had fainted unless I had what? You got to believe to see. You got to believe to what? Do you see it? Do you see it? You see that wife? See that husband? See that home? See that job? See the money? You see? Amen. We've seen the padded pews. We believe to see it. We're seeing it, huh? We, 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 we did what we could do to raise the funds. We raised it. See the, you're sitting on the padded. God's going to help us with the, the band ministry bus ministry. We believe to see it. God's going to help us with the sound system, the live stream, YouTube. I, I, well, well, this, this, God, I believe it. God's, 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 God's got to help us with all these things. Wait on the Lord and what? Be a good courage. And he shall what? He shall what? Strengthen the heart. Wait. By the way, that's being a waiter. It's not like I'm going to sit here wait and just watch TV all day. It's a waiter. Master. Jesus. King. I'll do anything you want me to do while I'm waiting. Amen. On you. Amen. I'll, I'll, I'll do anything you want me to do. I'm your servant. By the way, it's not like a slave or cruel. I serve my wife because I love her. She serves me. I serve my children. I serve my church. I take joy in it. And I'm waiting for him. <laughs> While I'm waiting, it's bus rock time. It's over time. It's tithing and giving time. Okay? Don't be discouraged. Wait on the Lord and be a what? 
Sister Zane, it's all going to work out, okay? Love Jesus. Serve God. It's going to be fine. Okay? Amen. All right? And that's the rest of you there. Get afflicted. Love God. Serve God. It's going to be okay. It's going to work out. Amen. Don't be discouraged. God ahead. He'll come through. He has many blessings for you. I'm so excited what God's going to do as you follow him. Okay? It's going to be all right. Okay? I know what the Lord's going to do. He's going to come through for you. Let's bow our heads in prayer.